Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. The Bikers Reunion. Bikers battling cancer. Wasp Cam. Film, edit, share, prove it. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, classic bikes at the Paris Vintage Bike Show. The Ryan Villapoto Bike Charity Auction. Support Radio for Radiation. More Wicked Drag Racing in Medicine Hat, Alberta. But first, the 12th Annual Biketoberfest. Welcome back to Biker TV simply the best in Canadian motorcycling. I'm here in beautiful Fenwick, Ontario at Centennial Park, home of an excellent annual biker bash. This is the 12th annual Biketoberfest. Check it out. How you doing? Good, Heather. How are you? Good to see you, Bruce. I'm yeah. awesome. Yeah, what a beautiful day. Eh? I know. It's refreshing, isn't it? Yeah, after last year and all the rain, we walked around in rubber boots and looked like ducks. I but, know. But we had a good time. We did have a good time, and we had an all-day wet t-shirt contest last year. Yes, and the show went on. The show went on. It was yep. awesome. Yep. But many more people here today. Yes, I think there's about between 11 and 12,000 people been in here and out of here. That's awesome. It, this is the biggest we've ever had it. It's all about having fun. That's right. And giving back to the community. And I love doing it. Let's talk about the charities involved a little bit. Okay. Who benefits from Biketoberfest? Uh, the charities are Lions Foundation of Canada, which is all the guide dogs. We buy usually one or two guide dogs a year with the money. And uh, 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 the diabetes research and uh, community projects. Hey, Rose. Hey, Heather. Long time news. Good, good, good. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. How'd the uh, poker run go this morning? Actually, it was a dice run. Dice run? Dice run. We had 141 people uh, sign up. It was a great ride. We went to Brofield. Everyone was happy there to see us. I mean, when you see 140 bikes show up, you know, there's oh, yeah. a lot of sales of uh, hamburgers and pop and yeah, stuff Yeah, it's like overwhelming that. probably. Because yep, yep. last year there wasn't, there was a handful because it was torrential. Ten. 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 Good Ten. on you guys, though. Yeah, you guys yeah. roll hard in any weather. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was fun last year, but it's a lot more fun this year. We come out and uh, help the Lions with the uh, show shine every year. I think this is our 12th year. I think you've got the most competitors here this year. Oh, it's like amazing. Ever. This is over 100, which is a record for us. That is a every, record. Every eh? year we get more and more. It's great. They do a great job here. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. It's How are been you? a long day for the dogs, it, it has, looks like. yes. They've been here for a while. And what's your involvement with the guide dogs? I am a foster parent with the dog guides. Um, the Lions Foundation of Canada has a about 300 dogs in foster, so oh, they wow. depend on the generosity and volunteering of the foster families to uh, look after the pups from the time they're about six and a half weeks old until they're about a year old. Oh, very nice. And this event helps with that? Yes. Actually. Yeah, so the Lions Foundation, um, all of their money goes towards uh, the dog guides, and the Fenwick Lions here is putting on the uh, Biketoberfest, and some of the proceeds is going towards the dog guides. Well, that's a wonderful charity. Mm -hmm. And these are future guide dogs? They are. So Rena here, the bigger one, she's six months old, and then Coral is almost four months. Coral needs a nap. Yes. So <laughs> they are a little tuckered out from greeting everybody. Right on. This is your bike, eh? Yep. Oh, it's a spider. Yeah. What's your name? Greg Walker from Hamilton. Greg Walker, you're from Hamilton? Yep. Cool. How long have you been riding this machine? Uh, three years. Nice. So, yeah. Probably goes pretty good, eh? It's got that yeah. independent front suspension, so you get to yeah. corner like a maniac. Oh, yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. It was pretty good. fast. Yeah. How long have you been on the trike? Three years. Just my first bike. I was looking at a bike, and then I bought a Volkswagen trike. 
originally, and then uh, it got screwed up. So then I went back to the dealership, and they, he remembered me, so he bought, he bought this, and he knew I wanted to ride, and he's like, man, you can ride. So they did this whole setup for me, and... The dealership built that for you? Yeah. That's so solid. Yeah. Good people or what? Yeah. That's great. It looks like it works pretty good. Yeah, it does. Well, good for you. That's awesome. Who do you yeah. ride with? Uh, Hamilton Bikers Church. Oh, yeah. Hamilton. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I've seen you guys on yeah. the internet and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we have services Thursday nights. Nice. So, so your bike's in the uh, show and shine at Bike yeah. Toberfest. That's pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah. Do you always come to Bike Toberfest? No, it's my first year actually, so pretty hopefully great, I win. I don't know how I'm going to get the trophy on, but hopefully I win. <laughs> oh, we'll figure that out. You got a bungee cord somewhere, don't you? Uh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, we'll borrow a bungee for you. Yeah. I'll strap that down. Uh, originally it was a 2010 Ultra Classic with two wheels. I had a trike with a motor trike kit and the trailer I had made at uh, Sarasota Trailers right here in Ontario. Really? And color matched to the bike obviously. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's nice. a relocatable home. Right. Oh yeah, it's got a twin bed in it and uh, 20 cubic feet of storage underneath the mattress. And what do you think of Biketoberfest? Oh, I love it. I've been here quite a few years. And, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, this, I think this is the biggest one ever that I saw. It is huge. After the break, classic bikes at the Paris Vintage Bike Show in Paris, Ontario. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, a, in an authorized Harley Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Spady Transport. Now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner operators. Spady Transport. Dragon Jeans, what Biker TV rides in. Protect your assets. Dragon Jeans. Enjoy the ride. We'll take care of the rest. Challenger Motor Freight. Now hiring owner operators, drivers, apprentices, and licensed mechanics. Challenger Motor Freight. Our people, our strength, our future. Advanced Welding Techniques. Training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Tilbury Auto Sales RV Omaha. One-stop shop. Over 300 units in stock. RVs, power sports, autos, Yamaha. Financing for everyone. TilburyAutoSales.com. Biker TV is brought to you by be on Biker TV at Motorcycle and Power Sport Atlantic. Kent County Customs, expert service and cool customs. CPN, custom engraving and powder coating. Congrats on the new location, Custom Creations, Cycle and Ink, Cambridge, Nova Scotia. Lucas Oil Motorcycle Products, made in America, sold to the world. Closed captioning by the Ryan Villapoto Bike Charity Auction. Support Radio for Radiation. As the CBMG National Rally, it's 42 years, but this year marks our 25th anniversary in Paris.
We have the 1914 Hendy Special that was built in Toronto as the Mark bike. So what do you know about the bike? Well, I know it was um, built in Toronto uh, by the Indian Corporation and uh, the, the big deal with this particular model was electricity. They wanted to have electric lights, they wanted to have uh, electric start. And um, so in order to do that, it had to have a battery. And now unfortunately, the batteries back then, that, in that time period, weren't sufficient enough to supply the juice and keep these bikes going. Today. Well, the, the biggest thing is this display with the Canadian Indian and in the uh, Agri building over there they have a display of, of that particular model, uh, plus they have a bunch of Indian guys that have brought their motorcycles in sort of as support, so that's worth a visit over there to, to see. So, yep, that's the big deal. Runs all weekend, mm -hmm. uh, started yesterday at noon, runs, the, today's the big day. What else? Tomorrow's a concourse. Is there a swap meet and stuff Oh, there? big time in the inside, there's a flea market. Mm -hmm. And if you get to visit those folks, they got lots of parts for sale and good deals and leftover stuff. And I got myself a wheel for my Indian. This is a mongrel. Oh, a mongrel. Well, it shouldn't be a mongrel because it's a panther, right? Dogs are mongrels, right? So, yeah. cats are what do you call cats when it's uh, anyway a cross <laughs> a cross between something and something, right? Yeah. It's um, it's a 31. It's a 1931 motor, but it's got a combination of BSA parts, and so it's not original. That's why I call it a mongrel. So, see, so a one cylinder. One cylinder, one cylinder, 500 cc. Why Paris? Uh, we've been here, what's this, our fourth year? Yeah. Uh, some of us can remember when these bikes were new. Uh, I don't, but these guys do. Yeah. <laughs> years and years ago, it was very much all about the British bikes, but as we progress through time, you're having younger generations, and I don't think the British bikes speak to them as well as the Japanese bikes do. So the next generation coming up will be more interested in um, the bikes of their youth. Did you see a favorite bike or anything? Yeah, I seen some of the bikes I used to drool about when I was a little kid. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of neat. Which bike's that? Uh, I seen a nice old Norton Commando, and I thought that was the cat's meow back way back when. And now it's a little bike. Now you want one? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if I want. Bike? Well, maybe a second one. Yeah. You know, <laughs> take some garage space up. Little bit of gas, little bit of retard. Oh, you got a kicker. And it didn't start, you see? Oh well. Hang on. After the break, the Ryan Villapoto Bike Charity Auction. Support Radio for Radiation. Biker TV is brought to you by Universal Cycle. We don't just sell motorcycles, we sell motorcycling. The CMDRA, Drag Racing Action. Kane's Harley Davidson, complete sales and service. Lucas Oil Motorcycle Products, made in America, sold to the world. Lucid Customs Motorcycle Garage, complete motorcycle service, sales and customs.
Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs. Artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. World class plowing match. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12 gauge customs. Award winning trucks. Big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call. 12 Gauge Custom. Biker TV is brought to you by Hip Cycle, where Biker TV goes. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Biketoberfest 2015, live to ride. Flat Track Canada. Lucas Oil Motorcycle Products, made in America, sold to the world. Atlantic Canada's largest motorcycle rally, the Wharf Rat Rally, Digby, Nova Scotia. My name's Pez, I'm the owner of Hogtoons. We do all our uh, shipping globally right out of this location to our uh, distribution partner, Drag Specialties, who has us in Canada, United States, and all over Europe. Hogtoon started uh, as a company that started making speakers for the Harley-Davidson touring world. Grew and grew, we started getting into amplifiers and then uh, what I'll call hard parts, like our tweeter pod was really popular, and now we're doing the saddlebag lid speakers, which are also super popular. And, uh, when we have time and the ability to get our hands on the bikes, we start venturing off into uh, Kawasaki Vaquero, like the one seen here, Gold Wings. We're working on stuff for Victories now. We're also working on stuff for uh, UTV World as well. Ryan Villapoto is basically the Wayne Gretzky of the motocross world, the supercross world. I mean, this kid's won more championships. He's the most focused athlete I've ever met in my life. You know, he just set the, set the standard as far as uh, wins. Uh, pretty hard kid to beat. Anybody who's anybody that knows anything about motocross or supercross will understand that Ryan Villapoto is the top dog for the last five or six years. No, no question. Ryan won his third consecutive supercross championship and Kawasaki USA, Monster Energy Kawasaki wanted to reward him with a bike. This is the bike. While the idea was floating around of uh, doing a bike for him, Parts Unlimited asked a bunch of vendors, me included, to participate where we could in making the bike as cool as it is. So, you know, people like RC Components donated the rims and the uh, brake rotors. Dunlop did the tires, Clock did the windshield. LA Choppers did the, all the, the handlebars and the grips, etc. Saddleman did a custom seat with the RV logo built right in it. We did the audio system, obviously. So we were in the development of the audio system for Vaqueros when this whole project came upon us. And actually, the audio system that's in this bike, we flew over from the factory for this bike, and it is literally serial number 0001. And uh, Jesse Jurgens from uh, Legend Air Ride Suspension did a one-off air ride suspension for this bike. The bike got put together, you know, Ryan went out and won his fourth Supercross championship and right around that time him and I had done a deal to uh, have me take ownership of the bike with the understanding that 100% of the proceeds would be donated to the Radio for Radiation campaign as part of an auction that I would set up with uh, Radio for Radiation. So the bike is truly a one-off for him. We figured that not only is a Kawasaki Vaquero one killer bike on its own, but one this customized 
uh, and with Ryan's name tied to it, could really attract some big dollars for the charity. We have the website hogtoons.com slash rv2, but the main website that you can get to through our website to place a bid is r4rmotorcycle.com. The bike will be on display with Parts Canada in their booth at all the major motorcycle shows across Canada. The bike's gonna get a ton of exposure. I'm gonna be at the Edmonton show working it. The bike will be at the Toronto show in February and we're gonna have staff there. The most important thing is, is uh, let's raise money and, and uh, like I said, get this machine funded for the unfortunate people that have to uh, take use of it. One of the cool parts about the way we have the auction set up is, is that whoever wins the auction pays the charity directly. So if uh, one other business owner out there is looking for a really nice tax deduction, this could be it. Nothing would make me happier than having this machine in Barrie and nobody needs it. That's what I, that's my main goal. Just cure cancer once and for all and be done with it. Move on. After the break, CMDRA drag racing action in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans. Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt? Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. Ontario Truck Driving School. Your path to success. Training for your future. Thousands of jobs. Ontario Truck Driving School. Biker TV is brought to you by Conquer Motorcycles. The Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup, BC's biggest biker bash. Freak Show Choppers, everything cool on two wheels. Lucas Oil Motorcycle Products, made in America, sold to the world. Steve Drain, Harley Davidson. Enjoy the ride, we'll take care of the rest. Challenger Motor Freight, now hiring owner operators, drivers, apprentices, and licensed mechanics. Challenger Motor Freight, our people, our strength, our future. On my way to seven national championships in the dirt, I always demanded the best of myself and my equipment. Still do today, out on the road with my buddies and our V-twins. That's why I know we can count on Lucas High Performance Motorcycle Oil keep our V-twins running in top form. The Lucas Oil in my bike, it runs cooler, smoother, and quieter. Hey, that's kind of like me. Whatever. You guys got a problem with that? Uh, proud sponsor of the Lucas Oil AMA Motocross Championship Series.
Welcome back to day two for the CMDRA at the Medicine Hat Drag Strip for the season finals. I'm Don Fergan, your host, and sun has finally come out for the day. It was awful darn cold this morning, uh, plus three degrees, but the sun is shining now. We're in the 70 degree Fahrenheit range, and uh, uh, the track has really come around. So look forward to a really exciting day of racing. We developed the uh, Derringer engine, uh, what, about 10 years ago or about so now? Years, yeah. And uh, back in, you know, when we, we've been racing pro directors for 20 years, and uh, in the old days, uh, the old engines and stuff, we started to make so much horsepower running stock cases and uh, cylinders and that, that, we literally would push the engine to pieces. So we'd make so much power that, that it wouldn't blow it apart, but it would just stretch the metal so badly and force it apart. So after every race, we wound up spending uh, you know 15 to 20 hours rebuilding the engine, new cases, new crankshafts all the time. And it got to be real expensive. And uh, also for anybody who was coming into the sport, we saw so many people coming into our class and uh, they'd have a catastrophic engine failure, you know, make a, a slight tuning error and then uh, blow the thing to some other ends and it'd be a 15 or $20,000 fix. Well, you can't afford to commit any of those. So, they do it yeah. two or three times and they step out of the class. They yeah, just go, we, this isn't yeah, any fun. Yeah. And that, now this motor now has become the uh, standard for this pro dragster class now. Absolutely, yeah. worldwide. We're here with the uh, Berserkers Racing and Evan, and uh, it's a three-bike crew, uh, all in Pro Dragster, which are the Nitro class, and uh, they also have the Derringer engines on all three bikes, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. They're all, uh, they're all weekend frames, Derringer motors with a Vickers clutch. And they're very similar in terms of your paint jobs, too. Two bikes are almost identical. Yeah, well, that's kind of our team colors, and the purple and the right. How do we tell you apart? Well, look real close. <laughs> We're all about motorcycle drag racing, so anything that we can do to help bring out the people and bring out the bikes, you know, we're all for it. This weekend I'm in the tens. I've gotten down into the nines, but my best time this year was a nine four. Excellent. So. Your husband drives the Pro Dragster, and you're driving a Destroyer this year. Yes, first year, first year for both. We're loving it. And you're doing quite well. You're not doing too bad in the points, are you? No, doing pretty good. What place are you in right now? I was in third place before this weekend, so oh. we'll see how it goes. Good, and that's for the Western Series. Yes. We have some uh, riders out here from Eastern Canada, mm -hmm. and uh, find themselves uh, facing a girl for yeah. once. And they love it. They're all wonderful. They're great. They're all helping me out. It's a really wonderful. great group of people. So father and son team, you guys have been racing together for how many years now? Well, when I started, Dan was crewing for me uh, for about the first three or four years. That was uh, eight years ago. And then for the last three years, he's been on, uh, on a bike as well. So we've been racing together. You know what he did to me on Father's Day at Grand Bend? He kicked my ass and won the race. I understand you guys started way back when bracket racing a small bike up in uh, Peace River country and yeah. have kind of moved up the ranks uh, into Superbike and uh, now into Pro Mod. Yeah, yeah, we've been at this for 23 years and been about the last 10 years we've been racing in the Pro Mod class. So, um, yeah, actually we started out running a 12 second bike and now we're running a six second bike. So it's been, been a progression. Tell us a little bit about the bikes. Electronic fuel injection, alcohol, turbocharged, boost controller. How many uh, speeds in the transmission? Three. Three, Three speeds. speeds, right? Uh, and then... We just went to a Gen 2 clutch this year, and that's been kind of a learning experience, but I think we kind of got it sorted out now. staging lanes with Dana. Now Dana come out this weekend, he's a first time rider with us here in the CMDRA and he got licensed. He made some runs in the nine second range yesterday, did you not? Yeah. Good. And where did you end up qualifying on the ladder? Uh, second, second last. Second last. Well, it's still not so good, but you're, uh, you're licensed and that's the main thing. Now you can run yeah. with the rest of the guys. Yeah. So you having a good time out here doing oh, this? Oh, you bet. So would you come back again? 
Yeah. Yeah, better than racing on the street, isn't it? Well, we don't race on the street. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Two wheels, good enough for Biker TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at bikertv.ca. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Next week on Biker TV, more wicked drag racing in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Rockin' Fenwick at Biketoberfest. More classic bikes at the Paris Vintage Bike Show. First annual Biker TV Support Our Troops ride in Calgary, Alberta. Biker TV is brought to you by Wasp Cam. Film, edit, share, prove it. The Bikers Reunion. Bikers battling cancer. Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport.